All right, guys, welcome back to Life's Change channel. Today, we're gonna do a quick tune up on the Ranger. Uh, the year ranges from 1997 to up to 2011. So, we're gonna change the plugs, the wires, and the coil pack. I'm about to do this Ford Ranger right now. All right, so you get your parts ready. You got the ignition coil right here. Make sure you got your part right. It has to be vertical or horizontal. Some of these connectors are facing that way, but this one's going up. And in this case, the connector here is going up, so I guess it's called vertical then, right? right? Just try to match it up right here. See, it's all the same. Okay, and then now you get your spark plugs ready. Ford motor car, we're gonna go. OEM right here. And then the store associate, you went uh, 0 0.044 on the spark plug gap. You know, it is what it is. You gotta do it. If you don't, you're gonna get a rough idle. Yeah, and you're gonna get spark plug wires. Gather your tools. We got a torque wrench here, 3 8 drive. And then we got the 5 8 socket, spark plug socket. And then we have the, oh, we got a long extension right here. A wiggly U joint thing. Yep. So your spark plug is not hard to get. And 3 8 drive. And let's just, let's, get, let's just get this party started now. All right. So I gotta take out the four bolts right here that connect to the ignition coil. I'm not gonna take out the spark plugs yet. So I'm gonna take out the four bolts here. And then I, I already unplugged this. Yeah. Anyways, let's just, let's get it done right now. Okay, I gotta take the four bolts out. All right, oh shoot. Uh, if you wanna uh, have your bolts, like you don't wanna misplace them. People usually put it over here. I like to put it like right here. Mm. I saw this thing at Harbor Fright. You just put your this magnet, you just put it here and then boom. That's simple as that. Very helpful, right. very helpful. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Tough one out here. Wait a minute. Woo! <laughs> Check this out. Got there. Man. It's pretty crazy out here. So what you want to do, so you don't remember, so you don't forget the firing order, is remove each cable one by one and then put the new cables on the new ignition and coil pack one by one as well. So that way you don't lose track. Oh! Shoot, that was so hard. Uh, now we gotta match the wires. All right. Why is it so hard? Yeah, it's pretty difficult out here. All right, guys. Once you get all your wires connected on the ignition pack correctly, with all the lengths correct, you can go ahead and remove the old one. Put the new one in. You're like halfway done already. All you gotta do left is the spark plugs. Now the first spark plug over here on the passenger side towards the end of the hood. I recommend just using one extension. That's all you're gonna really need. Don't use too much. Wow, okay. Dang, who did the tune up on this thing? What the heck? All right. Ooh. For a spark plug down, five more to go. Damn, that was crazy. I'm just gonna show you where the spark plugs are, guys. So on the driver's side, we have one. One right there on the left, one in the middle, and then one at the end right there on the right side. That's the hardest one that's to reach. And on the left side, 
passenger side. We got one right there on the left. You see that blue, the one in the middle, and there's also one right here, but we just took it out. So we're readjusting the gap on the new spark plugs because even though they came pre-gap, it wasn't the correct spec. All right, point four, four, zero, point zero, four, four. Let's put it in now. All right. So like we said, once you get all the wires removed, remove all the spark plugs, put the new spark plugs and you're good to go. You got all the spark plugs out and we put all the new spark plugs in. The only thing left is to torque them. You can either torque them or you can hand tighten. I like to torque it yep. to and be precise. Uh, this core is Stalin Ford Ranger V6 3.0 and this requires uh, from, what is it again? 10 to 15. 10 to 15, so we're just gonna go uh, 14. 14 foot pounds. So 14 right here. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get it done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, I'm just getting 14. Number two. All right, all the spark plugs are torqued to its proper spec. And now we're just going to put the ignition coils. So before we put on the plugs, make sure you put some dielectric grease that, most, that it most likely came with in the box, along with your plugs, plug wires. What you want is just a thin film, it's a small amount, not too much. On the outside of the boot and a little bit on the inside of the boot. The outside, the outside. Yeah. And you want to do it for all six of them. All right, once you greased up your spark plug wires at the end, go ahead and insert the coil pack. Like so. And reconnect all the connectors right here. This, this, and put back the four screws. Put back the four screws and the connector. Remember to put back your plug wires in the correct spark plugs because the firing order matters. On this Ranger, the left one right here on the driver's side goes to the middle, and then the middle one goes to the right side, the inner most plug, and then the right one goes to the left side, or the outermost plug. As for the other side, they pretty much correlate with, they correspond with each other. So the outer one goes to the outer one, the middle goes to the middle, and the inner goes to the inner, so. Just pass the driver's side is a little complicated. Just remember that those three. All right, once you get all your plug wires in, make sure they make a they make a popping noise. That's when you know they're in place and tight. Once you get those wires in, put back the screws on your coil pack, and you're done. Should take less than an hour. We took about 40 minutes. Give or take, but easy job. Anyone can do it. All right, guys. Till next time. Oh, see ya. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.
See ya.